We have spent so many years destroying this planet with the overpopulation and the ecology and what we are doing to the earth itself that it's getting to the point that it can't handle it anymore. So it was decided, I guess you would say by the powers that be, one way to do change all of this is to develop a new earth, a totally different earth that is pure and beautiful beyond description. Now how do we do that? I've been told that we're moving into it now. We've been doing it for the last two or three years. We're moving into this now. We're leaving the old earth and the earth is separating. We're going to be going into a totally different dimension by raising the frequencies and vibrations of the earth. It will shift into a new dimension. And this is the greatest show on earth because they said all the beings and all the universes are watching because this has never happened to any, in any year of universe anywhere, that an entire planet will shift into a new dimension. And when this happens, it's like two Earths, as though they split. The old Earth is left behind with all the negativity and all the chaos. And the new Earth separates, and it will be totally new and beautiful. Now those who have raised the vibrations and frequencies of their bodies will shift into the new earth. And a lot of this is happening right now. A lot of people are feeling this in their bodies because they are having physical symptoms they can't explain. This is happening as the body shifts and changes the vibrations and frequencies of the body. The frequencies can't be changed immediately because it would be too damaging to the body. The body couldn't handle it. It would, it would die. So it has to be done in steps, slowly. Those who are ready, those who are open to this, are the ones who will be going into the new earth by raising the frequencies and vibrations of their body. They have to be willing to learn and to be open to these things. Some of the symptoms that I've been told uh, is uh, depression, heart palpitations, high blood pressure, joint aches and pains, muscle aches and pains, and the people go to the doctor and the doctor said he can't find anything wrong. Of course, they put them on pills, but they can't find anything wrong. All it is is the body is adjusting as it's moving into the different frequencies and it's going to affect it. It will go on for a little while and then it will level off and it'll be okay for a while and then it'll do it again. The older people are the ones that are having the most physical problems because their bodies are having more problems adjusting to the changing in the frequency. The people in the middle are not having as much. The children, it's not affecting them hardly at all because they've already come in with the frequency changed and the DNA has already been changed. It's the other population that's having difficulty shifting and adjusting to these things. But the body, the DNA is definitely changing. We're told to watch our diets because we want to stay away from heavy red meats. We have to eat food that is lighter because we have to raise the body, make it lighter to shift into this other dimension. And by holding it back by eating heavy foods, we're keeping it from progressing. People are noticing that they don't want these things anymore. The ideal diet is live foods, which means fresh fruits and vegetables. And they said eventually we're going to be going into liquid diets as the body becomes lighter until whenever we cross over into this new world, at first we will have a physical body and then we will turn into pure light. But that can take quite a while. But the ones who will not be going on will be left with the old earth are those that are caught up in negativity and don't want to change. They will stay with what they have created. The other ones won't because they don't want to be in that density, that negativity anymore. But those will stay with what they have created. If they have karma that has to be repaid, they will have to stay there to repay it. After they die, they will not be allowed to come back to the Earth again because the Earth will have changed too much. They will be sent to other planets where there is still negativity so they can work out the remaining karma. 
But it doesn't matter because eventually we'll all get there anyhow. But at this point, there is a separation taking place as the two worlds separate. It's just like in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, where it says those will be left behind. It talks about the new heaven and the new earth. This is what it's talking about. And those that are left behind are the ones who are not ready. They can't change their vibration and frequency that quickly. It has to be happened gradually. You've got to be in it now to move forward. I think even if they realize it, it's going to be too late. They have to be working on it now at this point. And you're not supposed to go out and try to change anyone. Those who are already enlightened, they're already advanced, they realize what happens, what's happening now, they're already there. You don't have to worry about it. The other ones that are so deep into negativity, we're not going to be able to make a difference anyway. They have to find their own way. We're not supposed to convert anyone. It's the ones in the middle that are not sure which way they want to jump. Those are the ones we have to reach, the ones we have to talk to about that things are happening, things are changing, and we're moving into this totally new world. Annie Kirkwood, who wrote the Mary's Message to the World, I was at a conference with her one time, and she talked about having a vision of this happening. And I think it's very significant. She saw the world as a ball. And then she saw the world begin to pull apart and divide the way a, soul, a cell, the way a cell divides. It began to pull apart and divide. And then it broke apart to where there were two Earths. Over here, in this one, she heard them saying, we did it, we did it, we did it. Over here, she heard them saying, poor thing, she died believing all that. So the one will not be aware of the other. That's what they mean in the Bible by those left behind. They say two people will be working in a field and one is taken and one is left. Two people are sleeping together and one is taken and one is left. That's what it means in the Bible. Uh, we won't even be aware that anything has occurred. But you make the decision which way you're going to go. And it's happening now. There's no way we can reverse it. Because they said it's the only way to save the earth is to create a totally new earth and move into it. Man has destroyed civilizations down through time. And each time, it's usually with the, the bad use of their mind, the misuse of the powers of their mind. And each time, they'd start all over again from the beginning and create a totally new civilization, a new world. They said, there's no longer time for that. We can't do it. We can't waste that time. So this is part of the developing of our psychic powers, bringing that back changing this because we're going to carry it on instead of destroying the world and starting all over again. The old world, will, Earth, will be the one that has the earthquakes, the tsunamis, the volcanic eruptions, all of the wars. That will be left with the old Earth because it's working out its karma. It's trying to get rid of all of this. And those people that are involved with that are those that have to be in that type of atmosphere what they created. But the rest who want to move on will separate and go into a totally new earth that is beautiful. This is what's happening right now. The Mayan calendar, the people say, stopped at 2012. What that was, the Mayans themselves shifted. You know, there were many tribes and many civilizations that suddenly disappeared. The Mayans, no one knows what happened to them. There were also several Indian tribes that no one knows what happened to them. They just suddenly disappeared. It was because in my work I found they suddenly developed to the point that they could raise their vibrations and the entire civilization shifted in mass to this other dimension. And because the Mayans were so advanced, they knew what they were doing, they were able to foresee a time in the future when the biggest event would occur when the entire planet would also shift into the new dimension. And that's when they saw it as 2012, and that's why their calendar stops at that time. And I've been told that at that time in 2012 is the culmination. Everything will be in place and we will be set 
to make the final shift. So we don't have very many years to get all of this in place. That's why we're having all this chaos and problems right now as the two try to decide and separate and shift. So it's a very important time we're in right now. And there's many souls that are coming in right now to be here for it. They volunteered to come. They were, the call went out throughout the universe, volunteers to come and help. They have to be souls that are pure, that have not known violence, have not, they have no karma to repay, to come in and help raise the consciousness of those who are here. And these people don't know they're one of these. I find it out in my work, but they have no idea on the conscious level they are one of these who has volunteered to come and to use their energy to help raise the consciousness of the world. And I've been told it's working because now the positive is beginning to overshadow the negative. And we are moving into a new world and it's beyond anything you could expect. But it's too late to turn back now. It's in the process and it is happening.